What's going on guys and welcome back to a brand new nature documentary about Lippy the gerbil with an alternate lifestyle. Today we're going to be talking about actions. So in the last video we actually uh, finished off on just creating a state, I mean a state, a store and all we're doing in the last video all we did was just print out to the screen counter zero which is our state, our default state. So in this video, we are going to focus on actually giving the store commands on like saying, hey, we want to increment the the state by one, by the state decrement it by one, you know, resetting the state to zero and stuff like that. And we do this with actions and actions is just an object that gets sent, sent to the store. It's basically, it's just an object with a command that gets sent to the store. Now, this is actually create an object right here. I'm just going to create an object, not, not even assigning it to a variable right now. And this object needs to have a property type. It needs to have a type because this type is going to tell the store what exactly to do. So in this case, the type we want the store to in, in the string to increment. Increment. Right. OK. Now we need to send this object to the store. So exactly how do we do this? Well, Redux does give us something and it's called store. We're, we're aiming to the store, right? So we're grabbing store and we're going to say dot dispatch. And it's going to be a method of function. And inside that function, we do send in the, um, the object. So you're just dispatching, you're sending an object, an action to the store. And when you control save this, it's not going to do nothing, obviously, because we haven't even told the store to do something. But check this out. Check this out. And here, if I actually do, if I log something like running store control save, you'll see that you get running store twice. And the reason it gets stored twice or get, gets, gets this uh, logging out running store twice is because right here we do call it or we actually called it right here storing into the store. But once we called it, this runs automatically. And then down here, when we dispatch something or we're sending something to the store, this gets called again. So now it knows that a hey, an action or now it knows that something is coming back or it's being called upon. So we need to tell, we need to come in here and actually figure out what's going on. Now in the first video, I just said that this function takes in two arguments. One is state and the other is the action. Now this action argument is literally the object that we're sending in. So we could treat it as an object. So in this case, we're not going to re be returning state no more. I'm just going to count to log. No log action. So that way you can see what exactly is coming in. But I already told you, it's just an object. See right here. The first one is just an object. Don't worry about this one because we're, we're setting it right here. But this is the second one is the one we're sending back as a dispatch. And the second one is an object with type equals increment is literally the object. So we could actually grab the, the type by saying type control save and you should see increment right there. Now with this, we could actually use it to actually make the store do what we want, right? So in this case, I'm just going to use a switch state switch statement. So switch action dot type right now, right? And our case, one of our cases is going to be increment. Now notice that I'm doing all caps on increment right here. The type being increment all caps. Uh, it's just a, a standard that Redux has. You don't have to follow it. You can literally do all lowercase if you wanted to, but it's just a standard that they gave out. So if you don't want, if you want to use it, then use it. If you don't, then just don't use it. I don't know, but I'm going to stick to it. So in this case we want, to return a new state or whatever the state is to counter. We want to return counter and just update that counter by one. So state dot count plus one. And then, and that is it. 
And let, 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 let's just get this out of the way right now. Let's just do a default. If nothing happens, we, w we literally just want to return state. Whatever the state is currently. That's all we want to do. Oh, we get it undefined. Let's see what's going on. Okay. Uh, default. I don't know why I do these things. Return state. Not just like that. Now we shouldn't get a, there you go. We got one right, I mean zero right here. We get zero right here, but we don't get the one. The reason why is because we don't log it out once again. So down here, we're gonna just log it out one more time to grab the state after the dispatch. So control save. So we get zero and then one. There you go. And this is how we send actions or uh, commands to our store to do something with the state, you know? So. We're gonna actually do it two more times, and this time we're gonna just do decrement and also reset, okay? So we're gonna, I'm just gonna copy this because we're sending a command to the store. So I wanna store.dispatch, but this time the type is going to be reset. Control save it here. And right here, we're gonna create another case. Case reset. And what we're going to return is literally return counter, oh no, counter, counter to be zero once again. Or we could just do negative 100, whatever you want the reset to be, but I'm just leave it at zero. Once we control save this, we get zero and then zero again. Now remember, we are grabbing the, the initial store get, get state. And then after all this happens, we're, gra we're grabbing the latest uh, store, the state from the store, which is is going back to zero, right? Because increments by one and then resets to zero. But we could see what's going on if we could do another counter log and just, just put it right in between these two things. Control save. You get zero, yes. The initial state zero and then the one, yes. And then when you reset, you get zero again. Okay, awesome. Now let's just do another one for decrementing. I'm just copy this, copy. I'm gonna copy this as well, so that way you know what's going on. Uh, right here, decrement, copy. And right here, we're going to do case, paste that. And what are we gonna do with this? We're gonna return counter to be count whatever the current count counter is oh state dot count sorry do that state dot counter and we're going to just subtract i'm going to subtract two so that way we know exact it's exactly working the way we want to so in here so we got zero which is correct we, we just said it i mean uh, we got zero yes and then we incremented by one correct and then we reset it to zero, correct. And then we just subtract two from it, which is negative two, which where we get. Awesome. So you might notice that this council log is going to get super annoying. It really is annoying. Uh, thank God, or thank Redux, that it actually has a method that we could call, a function that we call. So up above, I'm going to call it. And it's called store.subscribe. Now what this does is it's going to be a function and this function is going to run every single time the store is called upon. So if for, for instance, this batch calls upon the store and subscribe is going to hear that and it's going to say, Hey, the store was called upon. So let's do something here. And all I want to do is literally just counter log this thing, the get state. So that way I could just delete all of these, just get rid of them. Okay, so that way, nope, it's easier read. All right, now if you control save again, you should still see the exact same thing. You see that right there? But we don't get our initial state because obviously this is just called when the store is called upon. So we get one, we get zero, and then negative two, which is correct, one, zero, and then two. You could also unsubscribe 
meaning that you don't want to listen to uh, whatever's coming in anymore after a certain time or whenever. And the way you do that is literally just save this into a variable. So const un, I'm just calling it un right now for not right now is going to equal this and we're okay. I'm just unsubscribe. Just, just do the whole thing. Okay. And right here we want to unsubscribe when we hit the reset. So unsubscribe and we just call it down here. So you still get one and then zero, and then it just stops listening from there on out. So you're not you're not gonna get the negative two. I'm just telling you unsubscribe so that way you actually know you can unsubscribe or stop listening whenever you want. But we never want to stop listening. We just want to keep on listening. So I'm gonna just leave it like that, and you could just leave it like this as well. It doesn't it doesn't affect anything. Now since this is an object we could add more things to this object for instance if we want not just to increment by one but we want to increment by 10 or 20 we could add that in here and the way we do that is literally just set another property and just call it whatever you want i'm gonna say ink by i'm, I'm gonna say um or case and i'm gonna i'm gonna increment it by let's say 10 let's increment it by 10 okay now, like I said over here in our budget store, this action right here is the object that is being sent in. So we can actually grab that ink by just by calling action dot ink by. So for this case, we did it for increment. So down here, I'm going to create a const calling it um, adding. And we're going to set that equal of now this is where you could add a if statement or or whatever i'm just going to do the shorthand version of the if statement and the reason i'm doing if statement here or the trinary or trinary or whatever it's called i forget what it's called or how to pronounce it is because i want to check if it's an actual number that's coming is being passed in because what if you make a mistake and actually add a string well uh, it's not going to know what to do with that string we don't want to add a string to our number so Right here, I'm just going to say type of type of action dot and grab it by the name that you called it. So ink by if it equals a number number, then what we want to do is literally assign the variable adding to whatever it came by. So action dot ink by otherwise we just want to assign it to one. We're going to add one and instead of putting one right here, we're going to be adding right there. Okay. So I'll control save this. Now you're going to see something right here. We're going to see the initial state, not the initial, but once we call this first thing, the dispatch, our first dispatch, we do get plus 10, which is what we wanted. And then we get zero because we just reset it and then decrement decremented it by two. So yes, this is exactly what we want. Now let's do the same thing for our decrement and I'm actually going to call it twice. So once I'm actually move these things around cause I want our reset to be the very last thing that we do. So get this out of here. So that way we know exactly what's going on. I'm gonna just add it one more time right here and I'm gonna decrement something in here. All right. And we're not going to, uh, increment. We're going to just increment by our default, but right here, I am going to decrement by a specific amount. So we're going to just add another property in here. I'm going to call it deck by, and we're going to want to decrement it by, let's say, uh, five. Okay. So we're going to do the exact same thing over here. We got to tell, uh, our store to say, Hey, uh, we're going to be decrementing with five. So I'm just literally going to copy this. I'm going to call it sub tracked and this is actually deck by and down here we're going to do subtract and now we're, we're defaulting to one so if we don't have a uh, decremented or deck by is going to decrement by one by default okay so let's say what's happening so we get 10 we decrement by one which is nine we increment by one because we didn't, we didn't tell it what to do, which is 10 again. Oh, we decrement. And I said back 
This should be deck. Let's let's try that. So 10, 9, 10, yes, right here. And then we decrement by 5. We should get 5. And then we reset to 0, which is everything is working as we expect. But for fun, we're going to actually do one more before we leave. I mean, before I leave you with this. And we're going to do setting. We're going to set our counter to a specific number, the one we want. Okay, so I'm just going to copy this. Down here is going to be a new command or a new type. And it's going to be set. All right. Now we could have a default. Obviously, we're going to have a default, but I actually want to tell it to set by a certain amount. So right here, I'm going to say set by. And we're going to set it by, I don't know, um, 100. That's what I want to set it by. So 100. Now down here, we do need to make a, a statement. And this should this could have been better. Let's, let's actually do it better right here. This could be up here. Just like that. Okay. And our set is going to be right up right below decrement. So case set. What do we want to do with this? We want to return. Oh, we got to make a const, remember, because we're setting it by something. So I'm not I'm actually going to grab this again. Set by type of action. Set by is a number, then do it by set by. If it's not, then we're going to just default it to, uh, let's say, 20. All right. So now we need to tell it, hey, we want to return our counter to be whatever the current state is we don't need to grab the state the reason why is because we're just resetting it to a number that we want it to be so i'm just going to say counter is going to be set by control save and we get our 100 down there and now if we don't send anything control save we get 20. awesome exactly what we wanted that is it guys for this video you just learned how to do actions or commands if you want to put it like that um so yeah that's it for this video guys in the next video guys we are going to be reorganizing this because this is looking a little bit too uh too nasty uh not easy on the eyes put it that way you got all these things right here and our react dom render routes is down there so we're gonna actually be doing something adding more files and adding more folders and just redoing all this stuff okay that's in the next video because there's an actual way to actually Redux standardized a way to actually do these things. So yeah, that's in the next video, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching. Honestly, I really do. Thank you. Um, and I'll see you in the next video. Okay. Bye.